Hey! In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of story time. We're gonna be talking about my first ever girlfriend. This is gonna be a huge throwback, so I'll try to remember as much of the story as I can because this was back in first grade. All right, to start this story off, I was in first grade, like I just said. I was chubby, I was ugly, nobody talked to me. I had like one best friend, and that was it. But all that changed one day. This little fine second grader with her fat ass nose walked into my classroom looking all thick and shit. And so, of course, me, I checked her out, you know, I was like, ooh, like, you know, I want a piece of that. Like, she's pretty cute for a second grader. Plus, I was a year younger, so I was like, man, I can do this, you know? Like, older girls like the younger guys. I was like, I got this. This is in the bag. But I was a little pussy, so I was not going up to talk to her. This was all playing in my head. I knew I would never get with this girl. Well, magically, Santa Claus must have been looking after me or something because that day at lunch, while I was sitting there eating my corn dog, one of our little friends came up to me and told me that she thought I was cute. Now, the moment I heard that, I almost swallowed my hot dog and choked and died right there on the spot. And to add to that, my little corn dog got a little hard right there just imagining her actually liking me so of course i had to ask the girl are you serious like she really likes me her response was yeah of course she likes you so i was like in shock i was like oh fuck yeah like i'm in there you know i was like tell her i want to go out with her i wanted to be my girlfriend i want to marry her i want to have my kids I told her all that shit so she went back and she told the girl and from across the table i could see she was like giving me the thumbs up and i was just like i literally died of happiness i was so happy the lunch was already coming to an end and i was getting up ready to leave all of a sudden i hear oh my god matthew i love you my little heart melted i was already being loved and even five minutes i had this girl already loving me this was the greatest moment of my life in first grade literally nothing could ruin my day so we went on a nap time my favorite time of the day i was in there having wet dreams about the second grader and everything all of a sudden i wake up i'm full of a puddle of throw up i see my little corn dog right next to my face and i knew i just threw all my food up so when i was having my wet dream instead of cum coming out of my dick I had fucking food come out of my mouth, but she never found out about that because I'm pretty sure she would have dumped me Cause Everybody was making fun of me and I wanted to cry and kill myself, but it's all good That was, that was back in the days that day the second grader ended up coming back into my classroom and She put a note inside one of the folders, but I did not know this I had actually went home that day every day I go home my mom checks my folders Well that day she checked my folder and she seen a note from a little girl She asked me what the fuck is this? She's like who is this bitch? You all up in my business, you know, I'm only a first grader So I did what I do best when I was in first grade. I just started crying I told her I'm sorry. I don't know why it was such a big deal for me to have a girlfriend back then, but I was like so sad for some reason. I did not want my mom to find out. I'm sure she was okay with it, but it just like broke my heart that my mom found out, so I felt really bad. The next day at school, I was walking to school. I'm mad I had that fucking note in my hand. I'm gonna fuck this bitch up. She made me cry in front of my mom. I was so pissed. So I get to class, and I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting, and I have this little note in my hand, and all of a sudden, fucking Pinocchio comes walking through the door with her fat ass nose, but she walks in and out. I did not have time to get at her and confront her, but she looked so cute, I decided to drop it and just let everything fly. I was like, you know what it's not that big of a deal i'm gonna let it go she loves me and everything will be okay she had actually dropped off a notebook into her desk so i went to her desk and read her notebook this psycho bitch already had fucking pages and pages and pages of us written together holding hands saying she loved me she had my last name and everything her name was Raimi, by the way what kind of fucking name is Raimi? this bitch was already trying to take my last name fuck no not with that ugly ass name one of her little friends actually see me reading her notebook and she went and snitched on me guess what this bitch does this bitch goes and breaks up with me fucking toucan sam breaks up with me just because I read her fucking notebook. Can somebody please explain to me why they would break up with their fucking boyfriend over a notebook? That makes no sense to me to this day. I was so heartbroken. I was devastated. I broke down crying. All I wanted to do was fucking nap in my own throw up again. And I single handedly went to fucking the worst day of my life just like that. But I got my revenge because a few weeks later her little friend was backing that ass up on my dick. That was the first time I ever had an ass on my dick. So her little friend was a slut and I was happy. I actually got my revenge. But everything ended up ending well for me even though I got heartbroken in one day but yeah guys that was the story of my first girlfriend it tragically ended in one day i wouldn't date that girl anyways her nose was so fucking big i would not want my kids to go through life with a fat ass nose like that thank you guys for watching the video and all the support you've been giving me lately stay tuned for my next video it's been too crucial i'm out peace